Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, sound a bit different than I did earlier on today? Yes, because uh, for those that don't know, I do record videos in batches, uh, mainly because I work during the day, so therefore in the evening I can then focus on the, you know, making videos and things. But, uh, of course, I sounded pretty rough earlier today, so you might be going, I think you sound a bit better than you, yes I do, because that, that was last night and this is today. Spring of Sorrow, let's get into the video, Spring of Sorrow, uh, kind of guide, options video, there's a lot of options, there's a lot to talk about, go and check out the link in the description, where it takes you to the Google Drive uh, spreadsheet, which you can see on screen right now. It is the side quest one, but it's got tab two, so if you go to the bottom and click on the tabs, it's got how the side quest works, just click on tab two, and this is talking about options, champions that work for different objectives, because, believe it or not, there's a lot of objectives to think about, but also, you can also, or saying also a lot, but you can make a decision of the best hits possible, best hits, best champions to set up possible. God, get your words out, Reg. So the objectives, as you know, are various. You can choose at least one objective not to do. How you set up your team will be down to you of what you choose to go down the route. I'll give you a good example. This is my team. In the bottom right hand corner I've put in um, these uh, team options and there will be a version 2 done. I've put a community tab post up at the moment which just kind of like if you want to help out help out. Like what we can do is improve this. We can add more champions and we'll talk about options in a minute against some of the champions. We'll showcase some footage as well of some of these champions in action against some of the, uh, the champions. But as we get the red arrow, which I can't click on, let me grab, there we go, Gra grab the red arrow. My first team actually was a mistake. I actually made a really big and bad mistake. Team option left two, or left side. I used Human Torch, I used Spider Ham, and I used Crossbones. Now, that's a bad decision, because my plan was to do four objectives for five points. And I messed up. How did I mess up? I thought for some reason Spider Ham was a uh, was a 2020 champion, but he's not. He's a 2021 champion. Problem, yes, but not a bad problem, as it just meant a slight change on my uh, option for right side, and I was off to the races, which is great. In this, I did I had uh, the House of Mirrors Clarity champion. Seven star to unlock the path, because it's gated, and it was skill and science orientated. If I was to do this another way, and by the way, on the right hand side tab of the spreadsheet I have included, so uh, this tab right here, best arcade uh, games champions, if you click on that, it will take you to uh, the lovely Misty K's uh, infographic, which has House of Mirrors uh, champions. Now, the big, I keep saying now, uh, a lot, the issue that a lot of people have is that lower yearage of champions because there's not a huge amount of decent champions that are there that can be well in broadly speaking beneficial they're kind of there just to fill out a gap now if i remember rightly modok i think invisible woman and spider-man and red guardian actually facilitate the thing that i was looking to uh, to do in that, having something that was in that 2015, no, 2017, 18, 19, and 20, so those those years there, uh, were helpful to fill out that. I could have added in things like Mars Morales, I think, no, no, maybe Mars Morales and maybe Mr. Fantastic. I'll have to kind of like just do a quick uh, search. It's, it's always, I know I would recommend this if you are thinking um, about doing this with a certain tag champion. Make sure to kind of go and search in game uh, of the years. And then let's just put 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Confirm. Uh, and then we get some of these uh, ones right here. Um, oh, hang on. Why is it coming up like that? <laughs> maybe it's... Maybe if I just kind of like... Oh. Oh, no, no. 2020. I put it to 2019. 2017, 18, 19. I think it's those, those three, isn't it? Silly, silly me. Right. Sorry. See, I'm even doing it now. That's the, that's what happens when you, when you get ill. 
you uh your brain goes a little bit anyway that's what i wanted to see right there you know do the right thing rich there you go so void you have uh, invisible woman and they may be there just for the ride in order to get yourself the uh the past is past objective but as i said go and check make sure to check in game with the tags but also make sure to go and check your house of mirrors and uh, your clarity champion options going into the quest you're always presented with a challenge left or right also seven start to unlock the path and that's very restrictive to a lot of players there are a lot of nukers to uh to kind of like take on the paths what's a, a nuke champion uh, it's just a champion that basically could do all of it i'll give a good example human torch uh, Hercules, well, Human Torch can absolutely obliterate the left side, and on the right side you can take Hercules. There you go, save you the trouble of watching the rest of the video. Go do that right now. Um, but that's not the answer, because at the end of the day you have to put on other champions. You can focus that way, and by the way, you know, please do. Go, right, well I'll take Hercules, and as it's a 2021 champion, I'll go and fill out a team that is got some extras with it that uh, tick boxes. Good example, the team that I've got on screen right now, uh, which is Hercules. Deathless King Groot and Hulkling. Now, there are some fights, and this is the great thing about it. It's, and it's not as specific as the weekly or uh, fortnightly Spring of Sorrow, Winter of Woe, in, in that you will feel restrictive in your roster to get a specific champion. Because a lot of the champions, that it wasn't like you could take Hercules to go and do an objective in some of the weeks. That may be the case one or two times. But it's different this time. You could literally take Hercules and obliterate the path the same way. And don't get, you know, command, don't get it twisted because you could actually use other champions as well. Take Aegon and go and obliterate down the right hand side. Go and use Human Torch on the left side. Use Spider Ham on the left side. You know, there are champion options that can do that. I've seen plenty of examples of uh, Shang-Chi doing the bottom right hand side. I've seen examples of uh, of people using. Uh, like a whole plethora of champions, not to like name anything specific, but there are ones out there that people are using uh, on these different paths and different champions. And that's why we've put together the, the options spreadsheet, which has all of the options available. Oh, and Serpent, sorry. Serpent can do a lot of these uh, these champion fights, whether or not it's doing Onslaught, whether or not it's doing Annihilus, uh, whether or not you're taking Serpent and doing uh, the top side. I've seen, seen people do that, and I don't have a Serpent, so that's why I'm kind of like, you know, seeing the recommendation there for that. You know, for me, it was working out to do things with, hey, Deathless King Groot is a fantastic sustainability and survivability champion that can obliterate uh, Gwenpool quite nicely you've just got to get your timing right with the inverted controls and that's a bit of a tricky one i felt i did better with spring of sorrow gauntlet versus the weeklies that they put up or fortnightlies that they put up but also there's other cheese options with using uh ronan against viv vision and of course that being a cosmic champion that helps and then you look at uh, science and skill a lot of people left this one focusing more on the uh, cosmic and tech based champ, excuse me, lights, uh, and you know, maybe even uh, any mutants. I don't, I've not seen many mutants being used, and especially some of the ones that I recommend. Like, I've not recommended a mutant except for Havoc if you're looking for an option additionally against like Gwenpool, because I think you can't use the Havoc cheese against uh, Onslaught. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, now there, there are other things as well, like Void can do a lot of helpful things for you on a plethora of champions on the path. Spider-Ham, honestly, I really recommend Spider-Ham if you have an opportunity. He is part of the... Uh, is he part of, he's part of the 2021, isn't he? Um, yeah, the 20... Or the 2021... I don't know like I kind of I'm looking at this now going like have I noted this down wrong and it's like is this still in game actually I, mean, I just want to double check this just so I'm not kind of like going completely mad I'm pretty certain I use spider ham and he's a 2020 I thought I should have at least got it I'm, 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 I'm questioning myself now because I was pretty certain that having spider ham crossbones and human torch was enough for this past as a past i don't know either way i had to do it twice regardless and i picked up the i picked up obviously the the, the backup from it uh when going in 
But of course, team selection is going to be the most important thing, and that's that's the that's the key thing. You have to really worry about Kabam, the way they're setting up some of these uh, particular tagged uh, based objectives. I think a lot of the time they need to look and see is this actually going to work, and is it thing are things going to be broken because it does appear that there are things broken here and there. And as much as I did enjoy this, by the way, I, there are a few sketchy bits of AI which I do think you should worry about or be concerned about. Mainly with Jessica Jones and the Onslaught AI has not really improved since the weeklies. Uh, or Jessica Jones in general, but the weeklies um, Onslaught has not improved since uh, since then. So just be wary of that. But setting up the team is going to be a really important element to what it what works well. And you just have to remember what were the, some of the fights before. You know, Onslaught, try and keep the champion to uh, an SP1. Uh, Annihilus, you're going to need a buff champion uh, for it, which is a, is a bit tricky with some of the science and, um, and skill-based options, which is the reason that I didn't do it. Or you look to something like Crossbones, which could be an example to help. But you, with Annihilus, you have to have... Aegon ramped up, and it's a little bit tricky with um, with Mole Man, but I have heard that that works. I also don't know how someone used, someone said they used, um, no, 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 I know what, I know why that worked actually with Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one unless you've got a champion with buffs. It can be done. It's a little bit, it's a little bit sticky, but it can, it can be done. I don't know if you use Spider Ham. Maybe I'll remove Spider Ham as an option against Nihilus. I certainly didn't try it because I decided to go a different route with it, and I went more because you need buffed up champions. I was like, Cosmics. That's why Serpents recommended. That's why Gladiators recommended. That's why Venom's recommended. If you throw an SP one at the right time, SP two, whatever, uh, and also get a Dexterity buff, you're able to use Hercules effectively for this one, and Hercules blitz through that. So yes, uh, Viv Vision as well, Ugh, that's a tough rotation, you've just got to avoid that SP1 and you should be fine. And similar things with, uh, with Iron Fist, you have to mitigate your pressure gauge. So you'll spend a lot of time swiping, uh, doing the basics, basic attacks, then you're going into a rooted state. And then you've got to swipe back and heavy attack, get the protection off, and then you can go back in again. I floated uh, footage throughout this video, so you've probably seen some of that stuff in action, some of the methods of kind of uh, actuating more damage. And with Jessica Jones, it's balls to the wall, baby. Just throw everything out of the kitchen sink because she throws the kitchen sink at you. Uh, that's been the video. I'm going to probably do an updated version of this tomorrow and put it out as a video and also update this, so keep locked for that. And yeah, that's been the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the well wishes as well on previous videos, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.